Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on the Acer laptop. So today's going to be two halves. So the first thing I want to talk about is all the gaming settings I use to run on the laptop for the maximum performance. Um, so I'll go through all those with you. Um, and the second one is going to be talking about temperature. Now, temperature is quite an issue on these gaming laptops. As we push them harder, the temperatures rise. So I've got a couple of ways you can try and reduce temperature and help to control that as well. Because when the temperature rises, it then thermal throttles, you know, so it can cool itself down and then you lose performance. So it's really all about trying to find that, that sort of happy balance where it can just run smoothly. Because let's face it, that's all we want when we're gaming, just a nice smooth gameplay that's easy and comfortable to run. So. I'll uh, pull you over to the screen and show you exactly how I run them. Alright guys, so first thing I usually do when I get the laptop on and I want to try and get it to run as well as I can, um, you kind of want to knock off all the sort of programs or applications that you've got running that you don't need to run. A good way to look at this, if you open like Task Manager, you can see what amount of RAM they're taking off, or GPU and CPU. So like just having Google Chrome open, it's using half a gigabyte of RAM. So if you don't need these open while you're gaming or whatever you, you want to do, it's probably best to just close them down so you, your laptop can perform as well as it can. Like say you've only got 8 gigabyte of RAM, you, you're pretty much using a half of it here just in these first few programs that you don't really need to run. So. I usually just close all these down if I don't need them. So Skype, don't need that. Discord, that could come off. Obviously I need my screen record right now, but Internet Explorer, don't need that. iTunes, that can go. Premier Pro, that can go. So this just allows your laptop to use more of its, more of its power and storage for the RAM side of things to perform as well as it can. So that's one of the first things I do, um, my work for you guys too. The next thing you want to do, or what I do, is I load up the Nitro Sense when it loads. Right, here we go. So over here are the power plan at the bottom. For AC, which is plugged in, I. Uh, well, it's set on power save right now, but it's normally on high performance. There we go. Set them both to high performance, and then the fans. Uh, I usually have cool boost on. This just means when it starts getting warm, it can allow the fans to spin a bit faster to keep it cool, allowing it to perform better for longer, which is what we all want. Uh, next thing you want to do is go on the GeForce Experience. Now they do send updates every now and then, so you just want to check that you've got the most up-to-date driver. So that's always worth doing maybe once a week because you never know how often they release these. So it's always good to work, you know, check you've got the most up to date one. Um, right now over to settings, if we go down here, whisper mode. Now this basically just keeps your laptop nice and quiet, but the problem with that is because it has to because it keeps it quiet, it then limits how much performance it can give because Obviously, if it wants to stay quiet, it doesn't want to get hot, so it pulls performance to keep it nice and quiet. So uh, I always have that turned off. Um, battery boost here, I, again, I always have that turned off. Um, just let your battery last longer, but we don't need that where we're going, so that's that stays turned off. Um, you can have the in-game overlay turned off as well that can help a little bit with performance. I usually have it turned on just in case every now and then you have a really good kill or a yeah, really good play and every now and then I quite like to record it myself so I always have that turned on but if you need every drop of performance you're probably worth turning that off as well. Alright so the other thing I've got to mention I always have it set to game and FPS on here because that's basically what I need the most so always have that on uh, FPS Alright guys, so the other thing that you can try to help keep the temperature down, um, which I've seen a few people do, um, if you go into power options, 
then you're going to change plan settings. I don't think it matters which one you go in, they both go to the same place. And then you go into changed advanced power settings. And then if you scroll down to here where it says processor power management. And then if you look here on maximum processor state. Now, basically what this just means is that it limits the amount of performance your laptop can give. And because you are limiting how hard it can work, it then can't get as hot. Well, this is the theory. Now, I've tried this over the last couple of days and it does help a little bit, but I mean, it's not, it's not massive, right? I just wanted to be honest with this one because I've seen a lot of people do it and I've seen a lot of people rave about it and say how good it is that you can do this. For me personally, it's been okay, but it's not great. You know, it doesn't damage the laptop. It doesn't hurt it in any way. The just the results for me weren't that good, but it's certainly something you can try. And because you're limiting the power that it can perform, yeah, the idea is it then um, brings the temperature down. So I think it does work, but it's only really a couple of degrees. I mean. You know, if it's if it's better, it's better, I guess. It doesn't matter how much it is, but um, this is something you guys can try. So, yeah, put it down to 99. Normally, it is 100, um, and then save it at that. Um, and that's it. That's all you need to do. All right, guys, so I hope this video has been of some help to you. Um, if you've got yours, your laptop running on different settings that are better for you, please let me know, because if I can make things better on this laptop, I'm all for it. But um, this is just basically what I found works best for me. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much where we are with that. So, yeah, if there's been of any help to you guys, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on these laptop videos, and I'm just going to keep doing them. I've enjoyed doing them, and I've enjoyed your support as well, guys. So, um, if there's another video you want to see about the laptop, please let me know, and I will happily look into it for you guys. So, as I always say, look after yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.